Later this year, the Zemu has pulled into San Diego train depot to begin testing on Metrolink's line to Redlands. Zemu, or Zero Emission Multiple Unit, uses a hybrid hydrogen and battery technology to propel the train and power onboard electrical systems. Water vapor is the only emission generated by the propulsion system. San Bernardino County is now a fire risk reduction community. It is part of the state's effort to enhance fire safety and resilience across California's high-risk areas. It enhances the county's eligibility for Cal Fire's wildlife prevention grants. Now, weather-wise for today and tonight, mostly sunny afternoons with winds up to 25 miles an hour. You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. NBC News Radio, I'm Lisa Taylor. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance is making his first campaign appearance before his Republican National Convention speech tonight. Speaking to supporters in Milwaukee, the vice presidential nominee said there's an obvious contrast between the two presidential hopefuls. The guy who actually connects with working people in this country is not fake Scranton Joe, it's real President Donald Trump. House Speaker Mike Johnson wants the director of the Secret Service to resign following the attempted assassination of former President Trump. Johnson told Fox News today that the security lapses at the Pennsylvania rally were inexcusable. He joins a growing list of lawmakers calling on the Protective Services leader to step down. The speaker also created a special task force to investigate the shooting when lawmakers returned to Washington Monday. Eric Trump, Donald Trump's son and executive president of the Trump Organization, weighed in at the RNC with Kristen Welker on whether he thought Kimberly Cheadle should leave. There's no question about how can this possibly happen? How can think about just what that would do, Kristen, on the world stage if if our leader on uh, you guys were covering it and Fox was covering it, and CNN was everybody was covering it, got assassinated took a, a rifle round to the head on live TV while the entire nation... We'd look like a third world country. This can't happen in the United States. And, and somebody's got to be held accountable. You can't just sweep that kind of stuff under the rug. President Biden is coming up against a deadline that could make or break his 2024 campaign. Reports say Majority Leader Chuck Schumer was among the Democrats who pushed the DNC to delay a virtual roll call officially nominating Biden over mental fitness concerns. But DNC officials warn Biden could have problems getting on the ballot in several states if that virtual call doesn't happen by August 7th. The Nasdaq is posting its worst day since 2022 as the bell rings on Wall Street. It dropped 2.5 percent on the day. It comes as the Federal Reserve governor says it's getting closer to cutting interest rates. At the closing bell, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 243 points. The S&P fell 78, and the Nasdaq dropped 512 points. You're listening to the latest on NBC News Radio. KCAA. What does it take to take on Alzheimer's? Awareness that nearly two-thirds of those diagnosed are women, including black women. Dedication to lowering your risk by eating healthy and monitoring blood pressure. And confidence to talk to your health care provider about screening and early detection. You have what it takes to take on Alzheimer's. Learn about signs and screening at TakeOnALZ.com. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Eat bread, lose weight. That's right. Eat bread, lose weight. Hello, everybody. I'm Joseph from Joseph's Organic Bakery. We offer ancient grain bread from the Bible. That's right. Ancient grain bread from the Bible. We stone grind daily, ferment using sourdough, and bake that same day. Everything is then shipped fresh to our customers nationwide. So if you're interested, in feeling good, improving your digestion, knocking down your blood pressure, and balancing your blood sugar, pick up the phone, give us a call, 954-541-4062, 954-541-4062, or you can order online, veganbakerymiami.com, veganbakerymiami.com. Hi, I'm Kaylee Spear, a licensed agent with Litchfield Insurance Associates here in Beaumont. A large portion of Americans don't have life insurance or don't have enough. Whether you need a temporary policy, something to help with income during retirement, or making sure your final expenses are taken care of, having life insurance is an act of love and security for your whole family. Having a local trusted agent makes navigating through the sometimes complex world of life insurance so much easier. And I would love to be the one to help you. I'm Kaylee Spear. For your free consultation, 
people are calling 951-769-0005. One of the best ways to build a healthier local economy is by shopping locally. Teamster Advantage is a shop local program started by Teamster Local 1932 that has brought together hundreds of locally owned businesses to provide discounts for residents who make shopping locally their priority. Everything from restaurants like Corky's to fun times at SB Raceway and much, much more. If you're not currently a Teamster and you want access to these local business discounts, contact Jennifer at 909-889-889. 8377 extension 224. Give her a call. That number again is 909-889-8377 extension 224. KCAA Radio Loma Linda, where no listener is ever left behind. Welcome to the Worker Power Hour with Randy Corrigan, a brand new show about labor and worker issues. The host of the show is Randy Corrigan, Secretary, Treasurer, and Principal Office and Leader of Teamsters 1932, one of the largest public sector labor unions on the West Coast, representing workers in government and non-sworn law enforcement personnel. Randy Corrigan is a 30-year Teamster who first became involved in the labor movement by volunteering his time as an organizer with the Teamsters Union at the age of 21. Since then, he's helped thousands organize, mobilize, and achieve bargaining rights. He accomplished this by spending countless hours with brave men and women all over Southern California, in their living rooms, on the picket line, to bring workers towards victory. This is the Worker Power Hour. And now here's the host of the show, Randy Corrigan. state fed of all unions uh, that are convening down in San Diego right now, and they love the fact that our show starts off by uh, by, by explaining longtime organizer, first time radio host. And so, uh, again, the Worker Power Hour with Randy Corgan. Good to see everybody here. I've got a couple guests in the studio, and really looking forward uh, to hearing from our guests that will be uh, s- skyping in uh, from Washington D.C. tonight uh, tonight for her, this afternoon for us. Uh, but uh, I've got our Teamster Advantage partner, uh, Doctor. I'm sorry. What's your What's your name again? Uh, Philip Tagatek. All right, Doctor oh. Philip. Uh, and then I have Carlos Gonzalez here as well. And um, uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna run. Carlos and I are gonna be together. Carlos is like, I'm just throwing him into this today. So you ready to fly, Carlos? I'm ready. Long time business agent, first time radio show host. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, just do a real quick recap of last week's show. Uh, Teresa Preciado did a, didn't she do a phenomenal job of explaining how important her job is at ARMC, Air, Arrowhead Regional Medical Center? You know, a lot of people just don't realize how many different jobs we do, how many different jobs we represent, how, how important Teamsters are. And she just did a really, really good job of explaining uh, how important it is working in the burn unit at ARMC. What, what did you get out of that, Carlos? Uh, first of all, she killed it, and I never knew her backstory, how she got involved in that field, and hearing that story uh, was touching, and I think, you know, there's probably many stories, and that's probably why she's so good at her job, um, because she was on the other side of that, so just to, you know, shout out to all the people that work in the medical field, they have a certain care about them, where they're able to care for patients, and sometimes it's overlooked, and people take it for granted, but... We really appreciate the work they do. Yeah, and to connect to the job uh, as a result of, of coming into the hospital and utilizing the services in the hospital itself is just, uh, and then to go to work there as time went on is is great. And then she's obviously a great advocate for not just the work that's done within the hospital, uh, but she's also a great advocate for her peers, the people she works for, and uh, everybody uh, that does these great jobs at the hospital. So, uh, you know, great job on that show last week. Uh, our Teamster Vantage partner was a uh, was a, a, a couple that the former Teamster uh, actually is on withdrawal, uh, and I think that was uh, what's the name? Was it Greg? Um, yeah, Greg and 
and Jeanette, Greg and Jeanette, and they had a party supply company now. They told me that they're going to look into getting that bull riding. I don't know if you guys heard uh, the, the show last week, but I, I showed up at a at a graduation and somebody had rented a, a, a mechanical bull, and uh, apparently that's real popular now, but... I, I don't know. A lot of people get hurt on that thing. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it was good to hear uh, hear them on the show. And um, uh, again, one last shout out for for uh, Teresa. She just did a phenomenal job. Excellent. And, and from what I understand, last week's show was one of our highest ranking shows as far as listeners and being shared, uh, probably because uh, our the, the listeners really love to hear. From what I'm understanding, they really like to hear about the jobs that that people do that the uniqueness of being a teamster and all the different things that we do is, uh, is it seems to be very much appreciated and we can see that in the numbers uh, the other thing uh, that we just did lo- this last week is we put the radio show up on the billboard and so uh, it was kind of weird for me to drive by see my picture on the billboard and see the radio and all that uh, it's it's weird to hear yourself on the radio and then it's weird to look it up at a billboard and see your name and see your picture uh, but uh, we want to obviously try to expand our listenership uh, to, to try to catch more and more working people that are just coming to work every day trying to do their job and and just slowly educate them on how good unions are and how great they are for our local community. And uh, we're, we're going to get more, uh, I would say, assertive in getting that message out. Uh, so with that, I'm going to move to the next part of our show, which are live shout outs. Uh, the first live shout out, I can, I'll probably be able to hear them scream as soon as I say it, but uh, everybody on the bus, uh, the 1932 bus is on its way down to Disneyland right now. No, they're not going to Disneyland to go on the rides. Uh, there's a rally down there in a couple hours. Uh, they're in the middle of a contract uh, fight and uh, we've got a bu- bus full of people uh, going down on the 1932 bus. Uh, it's probably somewhere on the... 57-ish here, maybe still on the 10 or the 60, depending on which way they took uh, for traffic. Uh, but we have you know, staff and members uh, listening live on our 1932 bus uh, going to Disneyland. Maybe one of these days we'll do a, a Disneyland trip where everybody can get on the bus and go to Disneyland, I, and, and we'll drop them off. I don't know. We'll see. Don't Try not to hold me to that if we don't do it. Uh, the next uh, shout-out listening live is Christina Hernandez from the Human Services a closed case files department. She's listened every Wednesday from what I understand. So Christina, thank you for listening live. Shout out to you. Redlands wastewater uh, maintenance crew listening live. We love you. You get rid of, uh, you get rid of all the bad stuff. We really appreciate, uh, I'm sure everybody in Redlands loves the Redlands wastewater maintenance crew. You're the greatest people in all of Redlands because you keep Redlands smelling good. <laughs> we really appreciate, and we really appreciate you listening live. Uh, so big shout out to our, our Redlands uh, members, uh, they're uh, very active in the community, very active with the local businesses. Uh, great job. Susan in the crime analysis unit and Kirk in the crime lab. Uh, you guys are listening live. Great job. Uh, you guys uh, keep uh, uh, keep doing those great jobs. Maybe we got to get, actually, we got to get them on one time and have them talk because it's pretty interesting.